Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Russian divers are beginning a fuller examination of the damage caused by Saturday's explosion to the Kerch Bridge, what the Kremlin had previously hailed as one of its best ultra-modern and well-defended structures. Though limited traffic has resumed along one carriageway, a section of the other was brought down by the blast. These satellite images give an idea of what happened. Uh, this is the 19 kilometre long crossing, 12 miles long, which you can see here linking Russia on the right of the screen to Crimea. Well, you can make out smoke coming from one span of the bridge. Uh, and this closer image shows how two parts of the road bridge have now collapsed. One carriageway remains intact, but at the top of the screen, you can see what appear to be flames coming from a train on the railway bridge. Russia has promised to fix the damaged sections as soon as possible. Ukrainian officials haven't yet indicated that their forces were behind the attack, although they do appear to have welcomed the development. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports. It is the bridge the Kremlin built. And it was under attack. An explosion at dawn. This was the result. Russian officials claim a lorry had been blown up here and that the fire then spread to a fuel train. Whatever the cause, you can see the damage. This is the bridge that links Russia to annexed Crimea and parts of the road had collapsed into the sea. Later, investigators announced that three people had been killed. They've opened a criminal case. The 12 mile long road and rail bridge is not only strategically important to the Kremlin as a supply route, it's also a symbol of the Russian annexation of Crimea. Vladimir Putin opened it in 2018, getting behind the wheel to show that, as far as he was concerned, Russia and Crimea were joined forever. Very different scenes here. Pro Kremlin commentators have blamed Ukraine for the explosion. But there's been no claim of responsibility from Kiev. It is noticeable how the situation has changed here and the messaging. A few months ago, Russians were being told by their leaders and by the state media that the so-called special military operation would be relatively brief and victorious. Now they're being told that there are problems, that Russia is losing ground. And they learned about the attack on a hugely symbolic location, the Crimean Bridge. News of the attack has sparked concern amongst the public here. But the Russians we spoke to had different ideas about how the Kremlin should react. It's worrying, Stas says. War is always bad. They should have done this differently with negotiations. But Olga says Putin must respond. What a birthday present they gave him. We should blow up the train lines Ukraine uses to get its military aid from America. This is NATO's fault. But from Vladimir Putin, there's been no reaction yet to what happened here. No hint as to how he will respond. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, St. Petersburg.